As we are talking about writing basic SQL queries, let's review some of the transformations we typically perform on a regular basis. We tend to project the data using SELECT clause. As part of SELECT, we might have all the columns or subset of the columns to project the data we are looking for. We might even project expressions or derived columns from existing columns. Then we typically filter the data using WHERE clause. We can pass all types of conditions to filter the data based upon our requirements. Then we typically perform aggregations. Aggregations can be total aggregations or group by aggregations. Then we typically join the datasets from multiple tables. Quite often when we interact with the databases, the data will be distributed among multiple tables with common keys. And to get the data as per our requirements from multiple tables, we perform joins. As part of the joins, we have inner join, outer join, etc. We will see those aspects as we get into the topics related to this section of writing basic SQL queries. Then we perform sorting also as part of basic SQL queries. We might sort on one column, multiple columns. We might want to sort in ascending order or descending order or combining them when we try to sort using multiple columns. All those aspects we will be seeing when we get into the sorting. On top of these things, we also have some advanced transformations such as ranking. We will see those details as part of the subsequent sections. For this section, as part of the subsequent topics in this section, we will see how to predict the data, how to filter the data, how to perform aggregations, joining data from multiple tables and sorting. These are the basic SQL operations which we typically perform on a regular basis.